So at just 13 years old, a local athlete is getting ready to play during the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. They're this week in Naples. Rex Ty is joining us here on The Morning Show this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having 13 me 13 and on your way to the U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. I love it. So tell me a little bit. So I know that you started playing golf um, at around five, but you quickly pivoted then to pickleball. Correct. Why pickleball? I mean, it's just the great sport of pickleball. I just, I was a high level competitive golfer and golf was always fun to me. But during COVID, my dad started to play pickleball. And now that I wanted to play pickleball, I just slowly transitioned over. And because I could practice pickleball having more fun than golf, I just slowly transitioned over to playing pickleball. And you've just, and then you quickly obviously became very good at it. <laughs> yes. Right, okay, so tell me, are, are, are you nervous? You're gonna be competing then against athletes from all over the world. And are you competing against older athletes also so adults for example during the during the US Open so first i mean i'm playing against a lot of the highest level players from around the world going to the US Open i mean i always want to challenge myself and play against the greatest players yeah. so i had the opportunity to play against juniors 18 and under to play against all the kids my age but i want to challenge myself and become the best version of myself by playing against all the best players in the world. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so what was, was there anything real tough about pickleball when you first started playing it? I think a lot of people immediately kind of start thinking about tennis, but it is so different from that. Um, I never had a tennis background, but I wish I did just because it's just really easy to transition over. But I would say, hmm, that's great. Well, you picked up on it because Dad helped you a little bit, right? Yes. Okay, so who's better, you or Dad? I would say I'm better, but before, <laughs> right. before then, he used to yeah. he always coach me and teach me around. I love it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, practicing. I mean, this is a big competition, and you've got a, a very, very busy next 45 days or so also competing in, in various competitions. What, what kind of, what's your practice schedule? Because you, you also, I know you're homeschooled as well, so you've got to remember the studies. So I always have my priorities first, my dad teaches me, so the first thing I always go forward to is my church youth group I go to every Wednesday. You. And then after, I have to do all my schoolwork before I'm able to play pickleball. And then after I do all my schoolwork, I play pickleball. So around two to three sessions every day, each session around maybe like an hour and a half, two hours. I play like every day, all day. Wow, well, and you love it, which is great, because you have to have the passion for it. Is there a certain mental toughness that goes along with it as well? I think mental toughness is like the hardest part in any sport. I mean, when I played golf, like if you hit one bad shot, it would always just like mess up the entire like play of your game. So same for pickleball. After you hit like it's match point and you miss an easy shot, you just have to stay mentally strong and stay in it so your opponents can't beat you. And yeah, don't beat yourself. It, yeah, yeah, you beat yourself, right? It's all about self-confidence and sometimes if you don't, if it's not going the way you plan, then it can be tough and so it's keeping that mental toughness. Good for you. I, I love that. What's, what's, what's next for you? Let's talk academics here for a minute because you're only 13. I know you mentioned you're homeschooled. So you're going to actually start taking uh, some courses then at FSCJ and UNF at just 13 this fall? I am. So my brother actually started the whole homeschool thing before I ever started so maybe by being homeschooled I can have all the time I wanted in the role just to play pickball and do everything I enjoy so after I finish some courses I go into FSCJ and UNF for dual enrollment in the fall time wow. so just because of that I can really excel and pass all the other kids my age not in a mean way but I get to advance before they you know. <laughs> <laughs> head on to the big times right college well so um, you're humoring us uh, because we're real amateurs here. But do you mind coming over? I know that yeah, your course. your family was kind enough to set up a um, uh, kind of is this well the, a, a shortened abbreviated yes right yes. okay so and we've got these two lovely ladies here who are going to help us now. I, I want to just go ahead and say, have you played pickleball? I have never uh, neither have I. But played. but Katie over here, she brought her own racket. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I, I'm. Should, should I be on your team? I'm matter. guessing. I, I right? can play. I play with everybody. Oh, you okay? okay. Oh, are you? Oh, uh, listen, okay, for a first right. timer, I'm not Maybe sure. I'll, okay, I'm going to have you be start. There, Amanda, be there. Okay. Be there. Okay. There's no need to be nervous. All right. Okay. All right. Amanda, be there. Let it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, so okay. what's the secret here? Because it is easy to, if you hit, if you hit this too hard, you can then go out of bounds. I mean, so unlike tennis, when you hit like a racket against a tennis ball, it comes off really hard. So just keeping like a small, smooth, short swing, just like back and forth, back and forth, makes it really easy to control the ball. Good, and it's easier too because the ball is, is essentially like yeah, a whistle. Yeah, so the... But not as light. Yeah, not... Yeah, this is not as light. No, yes. Yeah, as, yeah but it's, as you can see here, it's got holes in it. It's not like a tennis ball. All right, Amanda, yeah. be there. Like, be there. Yeah, right, you guys, so you guys. I'm excited. 
All right. Do I have to? Oh, oh, geez. All right. Do I have to let it bounce? So in no. Pick, do in, you? Amanda, were you off. aiming? Did you? Well, I was trying to get <laughs> it before Dim moved it out of the um, <laughs> the fence. So I was trying to save her. Okay, right, so in pickleball, there is a, I think nine. No, I don't know how long it is, yeah. but I think six foot kitchen line. But a lot of people think you can't step in there, but the ball has to bounce before you can step into the kitchen. Okay. So we don't have a kitchen here right, right now, but we can pretend. So if the ball bounces in here, I can step in and then come back out, but I can't be in here and hit the ball out of oh. the air. Oh. Okay, yes, mm. yeah, no, there's rules. Okay, so, uh, okay. okay, I'm gonna, okay. oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, poor Jen. Oh, that's right, okay, wait, wait, so I push it down and then hit it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, girls. Good. All right. I'm taking that personal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Rex, as we're playing, tell us a little bit about what you want to do in the future. So. Play professionally? The goal is to become a professional pickleball player, and I know. Okay. <laughs> If I want to go pro in any sport, I need to do a lot of practice. Oops. You can still hit a gym. <laughs> well, you are on your and way. I clearly need for a sure. lot of practice too. Rex, Listen. thank you for coming by. This, oh, thank this you for is having great. me. This yes. is really, really fun, and good luck to you. Thank you so well, much. You are so cool. Let us know how things go too, because we'd love to have you back on and talk more. I'll let you guys know how I do there. All right, all right, and good luck then to Rex right. Todd. Can you. we have your autographs? I know we're going to need it. This was a lot of fun. Can we leave this so we can play during commercial break. Let's be playing. All right, we'll be right back. Try.